Hello guys, welcome to Proverb Tips YouTube channel. My name is Pawne and today in this video we are going to talk about the SSL certificate. As you can see this is my demo website. Recently I have installed on Alibaba Cloud and you can see here it's showing not secure. And if you check the certificate you can see here the connection is connection to this site is isn't secure. So we are going to fetch this uh, certificate error and you should also know that if your website doesn't have any SSL certificate or uh, secure socket layer uh, in Google will uh, decrease your ranking so you should install the SSL certificate so I am going to show you how you can install As I have already told you that I am using a Alibaba Cloud VPS. If you are using any other uh, cloud services like DigitalOcean or any other, you can apply the same method. So first of all, you need to copy the public IP address, then open your uh, Windows PowerShell, PuTTY, or uh, Linux terminal, whatever you have. Then type ssh hyphen i then tilde okay then uh, um, forward slash period then again ssh then again forward slash then type root at the right and then your public ip then here enter it will prompt you to type your server password so type your password and hit enter and you can see I'm connected to my uh, VPS server and now I'm going to install the SSL certificate so for uh, this SSL certificate you should have uh, Apache server as you can see if I uh, execute the command uh, a service Apache to status you can see my Apache server is running so you can use apache server or ngix or any other web server so guys now in the market you can find the paid ssl certificate or free ssl certificate so i am going to show you the open source ssl certificate that is flats and fit you have to search on google and open the first site and click on get started okay then uh, you can see the second uh, paragraph with shell access click on set board and it will open a website named EFF set board and you can see scroll down and then you can see my SQS website is running on software you need to select Apache if you have uh, Apache and if you have an NG, nginx service select the second one and then the system i am my, my server is running on debian so i am going to select the debian buster and now <coughs> uh, so first step sss into the server so we have already completed the first step we have connected to the sss and the second step is installing the snapd so click on the snapd and open a new tab okay you can see distribution uh, with snap pre-installed if you are using ubuntu or any other uh, the system listed here it will pre-installed by time using debian you can see without pre-installed so i need to install it manually so first of all we need to uh, update the system update is done now second uh, command is for installing the snipd okay. so guys our snipd installation is done now we are going to follow the third step that is i need to install a snap core file 
so copy the command and paste it the terminal and hit enter okay you can see here download is not code so the, you can see the uh, snipd core file is updated and now the fourth step if your server already installed any third bot you can use the command and remove them okay and then the fifth step install the third bot so just copy the command and paste on the terminal that is sudo snap install uh, double hyphen then classic set bot and hit enter so as you can see our classic set bot installation is uh, done now we have to link the directory you can see here uh, snap uh, bin set board and then user bin set board we need to link uh, this directory using the command so just copy the command and paste on the terminal and hit enter okay so our uh, linking is done and the next step is to install SSL certificate so copy the first one and if you want to just install the certificate you can also use this command so i am going to use this one so in case if uh, my server suppose my server has multiple you know, website installed so i can uh, using this, uh, this uh, one command i can install all the ssl certificate as well okay so just hit uh, paste the command and hit enter sudo certboard double hyphen apache okay and now you have to enter the email address so i am going to type my email address here you can see here i have typed my email address and then hit enter okay uh, uh, do you agree with your, the terms of service of Python kit? Then you have to type Y and hit enter. Okay, the next is uh, uh, you also type Y and then hit enter, and it will suggest you the domain as you can see here. Uh, one is without www and second is www. So uh, we need to type the number. 1 and 2 following the space 1 and then space then 2 then hit enter okay now you can see the certificate deployment and it will say it's successful okay now we need to restart uh, the Apache server so before uh, we need to execute this command that is the uh, head the step to test automatic renewal if it's working or not so clear the terminal screen and test it and you can see the simulating uh, uh, renewal of uh, an existing certificate of uh, that particular domain and tools account is already registered and success you can see that means uh, our domain will automatically reno after 90 days and now uh, just we need to restart the apache server so execute the following command service apache to restart okay and now good to go and uh, okay again we are going to open our the website you can see just i am going to refresh the domain and you can see here uh, the log sign and 
it says connection is secure and you can see here study guide tools issued by R3 and you can see the detail here okay. so that's it guys <coughs> like this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends thanks for watching have a nice day